the problems are really accumulating. People start becoming aware of climate change and they see in their daily life that it has an impact. And this is going to continue and it will actually accelerate. We see in many countries that heat records are being broken every year. This is something that is continuing, so it can lead to security problems, it will lead to problems in agriculture and water availability. These heat extremes in particular are going to affect the Middle East and North Africa very strongly. We think that the heat extremes also and the drought has contributed to the civil unrest in Syria. So we really need to address these problems to make sure that in future we prevent these very negative outcomes of climate change. Climate change is going very fast in the region, faster than almost everywhere in the world. And also air pollution is extremely bad. This is due to growing population as well as the vicinity of the two largest deserts in the world, the Saharan Desert and the Arabian Desert, that will generate a lot of dust in the air. Climate change will get worse and worse. This will create huge issues related, for instance, to migration. And this is currently a big issue in Europe. And so we have to adapt and mitigate climate change already today to prevent such issue that would happen in the future. Cyprus is a member of the EU, but it is also in the Middle East. This region is an environmental hotspot of change. We see here influences from West Asia, from Europe and from North Africa. And we can see the combined signal, this combined effect of the influences in Cyprus. It's a big threat for the Cypriot population, but it's a great opportunity for our center to investigate long-range pollution from these different continents. MCARE project stands for Eastern Mediterranean Middle East Climate and Atmosphere Research Center. It is a project funded by the European Union through the European Commission's framework program called Horizon 2020. The Cyprus Institute is coordinating this uh, effort and we have advanced partners such as the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry from Germany, the University of Helsinki from Finland and the Commission for Atomic Energy and Alternative Energies from France. We are already running through the first phase of the MCARE project and we have a second phase to submit a proposal for it and we are going to aim to establish a center of excellence which is going to run for at least 15 uh, years on the funds. This center of excellence is not just pursuing excellence in science but also innovation with new products, new services that are currently missing in the Middle East. We have organized uh, very recently an international conference on air pollution and climate change with the objective to bring together science and policy. And this was a big success because it has attracted a lot of attention to all over the region and has created a new dynamic that is currently supported by the government of Cyprus to establish the island as a regional node for climate change. We have established a collaboration with the Institute of Cyprus. Η συνεργασία έχει υποστηρίξει την προσπάθεια της Κυπριακής Δημοκρατίας για να μπορέσει να αναπτύξει τη στρατηγική προσαρμογή τα μέτρα και τις πολιτικές αντιμετώπισης των θεμάτων της κλιματικής αλλαγής. Υπάρχει μεγάλο πεδίο εξειδίκευση και γι' αυτό πιστεύουμε ότι μέσα από την περαιτέρω ενδυνάμωση των σχέσεων και των δράσεων μεταξύ της κυβέρνησης και του Ινστιτούτου Κύπρου μπορεί να έχουμε ε, ωφέλιμα και ουσιαστικά αποτελέσματα τόσο για την Κύπρο αλλά και ευρύτερα για την περιοχή της Ανατολικής Μεσογείου. Το Center of Excellence will do something for the region and for Cyprus. It will provide information on how to best cope with climate change. And we are not going to be able to prevent it. We can hopefully prevent the worst, but it will happen and one needs to be prepared.